Good morning, friends. How are you all doing? Thanks for stopping by. We will discuss about the second moment around the mean for a set of numbers. So here I go. Says, find the second moment around the mean for the following set of numbers. So let me take care of that following set of numbers. Okay. So, solution. So, M2 or second moment around the mean. Moment around the mean. Is the average of x minus x bar square or uh, let me correct that this is uh, this lines means average so this is same as average of squares of deviations of numbers from the mean or difference of the numbers from the mean. Okay, so M2 is equal to same as uh, x minus x bar square average so it is equal to sum of x minus x bar square divided by n where n is equal to population size and x bar is mean and sigma is sum. So, in order to do that, first I have to find out x bar, which is equal to sum of all the numbers divided by n. So, it is 4 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 divided by 7 which is uh, 12 and 4, 4 plus 7 is 11, plus 5, 16, plus 9 is 25, plus 8 is uh, 33, plus 3, 36, plus 6 is 42, divided by 7, which is 6, okay? So I have calculated the first moment of the set of numbers or the mean, okay? So let's now calculate the sum of the squares of the deviation of each numbers from the mean. That will be the strategy. The strategy is first to calculate the mean of the entire data set, then the sum of the squares of the deviations of each number from the mean divided by the population size. That will give me the average of the squares of the deviations of the numbers from the mean, which is the second moment, okay? So, M2 is equal to, using the definition, 4 is the first number from which I subtract the mean, plus 7, second number, subtract the mean, plus 5, third number, subtract the mean, plus 9, third Fourth number, subtract the mean, square it, plus 8 minus 6, square it, plus 3 minus 6, square it, plus 6 minus 6, square it. So we added the sum of the square, squares of all the deviations. Now I'm going to divide it by the sum population size, which is 7. So M2 is equal to then. 4 minus 6 is minus 2 square. 
plus 7 minus 6 is 1 square, 5 minus 6 is minus 1 square, 9 minus 6 is 3 square, 8 minus 6 is 2 square, 3 minus 6 is minus 3 square, 6 minus 6 is 0 square. Whole thing is divided by 7. Okay, if I move this a little bit, so M2 is equal to minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, plus 1 times 1 is 1, minus 1 times 1 is 1, uh, then 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, again minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9, and we'll forget about the 0, the whole thing will be divided by 7 which is equal to let's add the numbers in the numerator 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 9 is 15 plus 4 is um, 19 plus 9 is 28 so it's 28 in the numerator divided by 7 which is 4 hence the second moment around the mean is equal to 4. Point to note, uh, the second moment around the mean is the variance. Second moment around the mean is the variance of the population is also known as the variance of the population. By definition. Because variance is the average squares of the deviations of the numbers from the mean in a data set, in a population data set. So the important hint or tip I wanted to give you is that when they talk about the second moment around the mean, it means the average of the squares of the deviations of the numbers from the mean, which is same as we discussed, which is same as the variance. So second moment around the mean for a data set is the same as the variance or average squares of deviations of the numbers from the mean. It gives you an indication of the spread in the data set, how widely the numbers are spread out on the average from the mean. Okay, so I stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I love to see your comment. Please write me a note. I appreciate that. I will respond to each one of your comments. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, share with your friends, you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please let YouTube know that you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, please do not forget to watch me next time or tomorrow when I'll be discussing some other interesting problem in math. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you.